What if there was a vaccine that could stop COVID infections? That's what researchers are developing. Today, Stanford experts say, though, it could take years as researchers on campus continue working on a nasal spray that would block COVID infections. Here's NBC Bay Area, Stephanie Magallon. It may be the vaccine of the future, a nasal spray that would entirely prevent COVID infections by delivering a boost of immunity right where the virus enters. You could have at the site of infection, at your nose, at your mouth, you have these antibodies um, that are just there and waiting and ready to go as soon as you end up breathing in this virus. Putting an end to this merry-go-round we've been writing the past two years, which seems to speed up every time a new variant pops up. Our current vaccines give us strong protection from ending up in the hospital or dying from COVID, but not necessarily from catching it. In mucosal vaccines. This immunologist at Stanford says a spray could be the game changer the world is waiting for. There's been some really great research now using animal models where we see that if we give the spike protein from coronavirus as a spray into the nose, that that provides really, really, really strong protection from infection. Some of that research is being done right here at Stanford with mice. As this during the They're trying to develop a long-lasting intranasal vaccine you could administer yourself. The scientists here are still on phase one of their research. It likely will take another year or two before they can start any human trials. There's no operation warp speed. There's no big money to expedite this research. But Dr. Tao says it may be possible to speed up the process if the government decides to invest in the nasal spray the way it did with the first round of vaccines. China and India, for example, are already on phase three. Until we get these vaccines, we are just at the mercy of variant after variant. Experts say even a successful nasal vaccine wouldn't be our last protection from COVID-19. That's because of waning immunity and variants. So it would likely be repeated just like other booster shots. I'm Stephanie Magallon, NBC Bay Area News.